Well, good morning, friends. It's me, your old buddy, Red Yarn. Welcome to Homespun. Y'all ready to get spinning? Good, let's go. Here we go. Well, we're gonna get homespun. We're gonna spin up our own fun. Got a good feeling. It's a home run. Rocking and a reeling with your dear ones. It doesn't matter where you come from. Everyone is feeling around the same sun. So we're gonna get homespun. Yeah, we're gonna get homespun. Let's do it again. This time, kids, if you want to stand up and spin in a circle, you can. Oh, we're gonna get homespun. We're gonna spin up our own fun. Got a good feeling, it's a home run. Rockin' and reeling with your dear one. It doesn't matter where you come from. Everyone is feeling around the same sun. So we're gonna get homespun. Yeah, we're gonna get homespun. Woohoo! Good morning and welcome to Homespun. I'm so glad you're all here today. Now let's keep spinning. Hi friends, good morning. How's it going out there? Oh, oh, I can't quite hear you. You're gonna have to be a little bit louder. How's it going out there, y'all? Oh, good to hear. Kiddos, how are you feeling today? Can you show me on your thumbs? Can you hold out your thumbs and, and show me how you're feeling? Are you feeling pretty good? Are you feeling really good? Are you feeling super duper excited to be together today? Me too. Is anybody feeling just kind of so-so or even a little sleepy or grumpy today? It's okay to feel all those ways, you know, but it is good to be able to listen to your feelings and, and if you're not feeling so good, it's good to know some ways to, to, to cheer yourself up, right? So I was thinking maybe we could have some fun together this morning. Do y'all want to have some fun together? <gasps> good. How much fun do you think we should have? Like this much fun? More than that? Like this much fun? More than that? Like this much fun? More than that? Well, stretch out your arms and show me how much fun you want to have. You want to have that much fun? That is so much fun. I'm going to need your help if we're going to have that much fun. Who remembers? How do we have fun when old Red Yarn, that's me, and my critter friends come around? What do we like doing for fun? First, we love to sing. Put one finger up in the air like this if you love singing like I do. Oh, good. Let's warm up our singing voices. Can everybody take a big deep breath? And sing. La, 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 la. Oh, that was beautiful. Put two fingers up in the air like this. If you like dancing also, who likes to dance? Good. Let's warm up our dance moves with a little wiggle in our seats. Nice wiggling. Um, raise one hand if you love animals. So do I. And I brought a bunch of critters. They can't wait to see you today. And raise both your hands like this. And stick your tongue like this. And go, ah! If you want to get a little silly. Should we get a little silly today? I think that's a great idea. All right, friends. But before we get the show started for real, there's a few things we got to do. First, what have we been doing a lot of lately to keep our communities and our families and ourselves safe and healthy? What have we been doing? Yeah, that's right. We've been doing a lot of things. We've been staying close to home as much as we can. When we do go out, we've been keeping safe distance between ourselves and other people. We've been wearing masks if we're going to be in crowded places. And anytime we're coming and going from home, anytime we are using the restroom or, or eating a meal, what do we got to do? We got to wash our hands, right? So can we practice washing our hands? Everybody get your hands ready. And let's practice. Turn on the water. Get some water on your hands. Turn off the water. Get some soap on your hands. Squirt, squirt, squirt. And let's sing. Wash your hands together like this. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands together. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands together. Scrub, scrub, scrub your hands. Scrub your hands together. Scrub, scrub, scrub your hands. Scrub your hands together. Now rinse, rinse, rinse your hands. Rinse your hands together. Rinse, rinse, rinse your hands. Rinse your hands together. And dry, dry. Dry your hands, dry your hands together. Dry, dry, dry your hands. Now clap your hands together. Woohoo! Thanks for washing your hands with me, y'all. Um, let's do one more thing. Let's sing this song called Beautiful Day. 
What kind of day is it where you live? Is it sunny and warm? It's sunny and warm in Portland where I live. Is it sunny and warm where you live? Yeah? Is it, is it cool and gray anywhere? Yeah? I'd like to go there. That sounds nice. No, but I like the sunshine. I like it warm. Um, so let's sing this. Let everybody make your sons like this, and let's sing together. We'll sing. The sun has come up. The rooster has crowed. And I'm wide awake. From my head to my toes, my friends are all here. We're ready to play. Good morning to you. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day together, and it's a beautiful day to sing some songs and meet some critters to together. So um, before we meet our first critter, I want to shout out whoever's watching today. Let's see who's watching. We've got Emma and Evie are watching. Hi, friends. Ella and Maya. Hi, y'all. Oliver and Arlo are here. Henry's here. Charlotte and Sammy. Hi, y'all. Cordelia and Tiberius. Hi, pals. Eva's watching. Um, Kayana's watching. Hi, Wilder's watching. Hey, Wilder. Lorenzo's watching. Um, Jade and Derek, Dominic and Julian are watching. Hi, friends. Benson is here. Baby River is here too. Cascadia is here. Alexander's here. Zayden and Judah. JW and Beth. Um, I think Royal's watching too. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's so good to see you all today. Thanks for watching. Should we see a critter? Yeah, let's see which critters came along today. Hmm. It's my friend Gracie the Groundhog. Would y'all like to meet Gracie the Groundhog? Good. Let's call her out. Everybody say, come on out, Gracie. Come on out, Gracie. Oh, hello, everybody. It's me, Gracie the Groundhog. Say hi, Gracie. Hi, friends. Thanks for popping up, Gracie. How are you feeling today? Oh, to be honest, Red Yarn, I'm feeling a little sad today. Oh, Gracie, I'm sorry. What, what are you feeling sad about? Do you want to talk about it? Um, well, I, I guess we could talk about it. Our friends out here, they're really good listeners. They're really good friends to talk to if you're feeling kind of sad, right? Oh, well, well, what happened was this. All morning, I was trying to find a friend to play with, but it seems like no one wanted to play with me. Oh, no, Gracie. What happened? Well, first, you know, I'm a groundhog, so I dig little tunnels, right? So I dug a little tunnel right into my friend Miss Molly's burrow, and I popped my head in, and I said, Good morning, Molly. Do you want to play? And Molly was still sleeping, and she said, Go away, Gracie. I'm still sleeping. Wait, you dug a tunnel right into her bedroom, and she was still sleeping, and you asked her if she wanted to play? Yeah, 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 that's right. But she said, Go away. She didn't want to play. Well, Gracie, you can't just pop into someone's bedroom when they're still sleeping and expect them to wake up and play with you right away. Why not? Well, because she was still getting her rest, and it was probably very early in the morning. What time was it? Um, I think it was like 5.30 in the morning. 5.30 in the morning? Gracie, that's much too early. I, I think you got to forgive Miss Molly. She was still sleeping. That's very early for someone to surprise you and pop into your own bedroom. Right, kids? Right. Right, grown-ups? Right. Well, then what happened? Well then, um, I dug another little burrow, and I dug right up to my friend Poth and Rocky's treehouse, and I said, good morning, Poth and Rocky, do you want to play? And you know what they said? What did they say? They said, we're nocturnal, and it's our bedtime, we're just about to go to bed, we can't play right now. Oh, Gracie, yeah, that's right, possums and raccoons, sometimes they go out at night, and they sleep in the day, so you caught them just as they were about to go to bed? Yeah, but they didn't want to play with me either. So then I dug my way over to Shiloh's treehouse, and I said, Hey, Shiloh, do you want to play? And Shiloh was feeling very shy, and Shiloh said he needed a little bit of space, and he didn't want to play either. Oh, Gracie, I'm sorry that no one was ready to play with you this morning, but it sounds to me like maybe you caught them at, a, at not the best time, or, or, or maybe they just needed a little space. It's okay to ask for space from your friends sometimes, right? Um, well, I, I guess... I don't feel like I ever need space. Well, some people need a little more space than other people. Some people are really extroverted, really like to play with other people and talk with other people all the time. And some people are a little more introverted, and they need a little more time and space, right? Oh, I, I guess I, I never thought about it that way. So if someone says they don't want to play right now, that doesn't mean they don't like me? No, it doesn't mean they don't like you. It just means they might need a little space, and maybe you should ask them again later. Oh, well, 
Well, that's a great idea. In fact, I bet Miss Molly is awake now. So I'm going to go and I'm going to ask really nicely, Miss Molly, would you like to play now? But, but, but what if she says she still needs some space? Well, that's okay. You can just come and, and ask her again another time, really gently. Okay, sounds good. Well, well, thanks for cheering me up, everybody. Hey, um, um, can we sing a song about me? I'd love to sing a song about you. Okay, bye, friends. I'll see you soon. Say bye, Gracie. Bye. All right, it's true, friends. We all need a little space sometimes from our friends, from our siblings, from our, from our families. We've been spending a lot of time um, at home with our families. Have you? Yeah, I bet so. And sometimes we need to take a little space from each other. And that's okay. It's okay to ask for space. It's okay to take space. But it's good to do it in a respectful and kind way. All right, well, speaking of Gracie the Groundhog and Bob the Rabbit and Miss Molly, let's sing a song about the first time I ever met these critters when they first started sneaking into my garden. Would y'all like to sing a song called Critters in My Garden? All right, stand up. If you feel like dancing, you can. There's some critters in my garden and I want them. I got some starters started, and I got some veggie sprouts. I got a guard dog garden, but he's a lazy lad. Critters, I beg your pardon, but you really must stay out. All right, everybody pretend like you're a groundhog like Gracie, digging your tunnel into a garden. Everybody dig. First the groundhog came a dig from a burrow underground. She came silently a wriggling. Next, the rabbits came. Everybody hop like a rabbit. Here we go. Oh, next, some rabbits came a hopping from their hole there in the fence. I tried my best to stop them. I put up my best defense. I tried booby traps and barbed wire, so it doesn't make no sense. A dag nabbit, little rabbits, keep on hopping through my fence. Oh, there's some critters in my garden, and I want them. Started and I got some veggie sprouts. I got a guard dog garden, but he's late, he's loud. Critters, I beg you pardon, but you really must stay out. All right, can everybody pretend like you're a little critter sneaking into the garden? Okay, first let's sneak. Everybody tippy toe up to the gate. Now there's a little hole in the gate, so let's crawl under the hole. Oh, and there's the garden. Everybody run to the garden. Find some yummy vegetables. Start digging up the yummy vegetables and eating them. Oh no, here comes the gardener. Everybody run away. Ah! <laughs> so I held a public meeting for to set those critters straight. And soon they all came streaming through that hole there in the gate. They brought veggie stew, bowl cabbage too. Oh, there's some critters in my garden, and they're welcome anytime. We've got a farm stand started, and we're putting up a sign. I take what you need, then plant a seed to feed the next in line. Our critters, I beg your pardon, you are welcome anytime. Our critters, I beg your pardon, it's mine, it's yours, and it's yours, it's mine. Our critters, I beg your and you are welcome any time. Woohoo! And that's how the Critters and I made friends and started a farm stand together. Thanks for listening. Thanks for dancing and acting out the parts. That was so fun, y'all. All right, let's see who else has joined. Let's see who else is watching. Woohoo! Oh, so many more friends. We got Riley is here. Eliza's here. Caden is here. Royal is here. Rosalie and Lumen are here. Emmeline and Davis are here. Lexi, all of Ollie and Logan are here. Woohoo! I'm so glad to see you all this morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. Should we see another critter? Let's do it. Let's see another critter. Let's see who else came. Oh, speaking of the critters in my garden, here was another one of the first critters I met. Oh, Bob the Rabbit. Y'all remember that trickster Bob the Rabbit? Yeah, let's call him out. Everybody say, come on out, Bob Rabbit. Come on out, Bob Rabbit. Peek-a-boo. <laughs> oh, that old rascal. Let's try it again. He loves playing tricks. Say, come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Peek-a-boo. Oh, 
Oh, Bob Rabbit, you rascal. He's always playing tricks on us like that. Bob, quit being such a rascal. Come say hi to the kids. Okay, hi to the kids. No, not like that, Bob. I mean, come say something sweet to the kids. Something sweet? Okay, donuts. No, Bob, not like that. Y'all want to visit with Bob Rabbit? Let's ask him really nicely if he'll come out for a visit. Everybody say, please come out for a visit, Bob. Please come out for a visit, Bob. Aw, hey, thanks for the invitation, y'all, but, but, but you know what? What's that, Bob? Well, uh, I, I need a little alone time right now. I need a little space myself. Oh, hey, we were just talking about this with Gracie. It's okay to ask for space when you need it, right? Well, well yeah, I, I think so. You know, I live with my, with my sister, Molly Cottontail, and, and we love playing together, but, but sometimes we got to get on each other's nerves a little bit. Oh, really? Does that happen with you and your siblings or, or, or your good friends? Do you ever get on each other's nerves? Yeah, it happens to all of us. So what do you do when you're getting on each other's nerves? Well, sometimes we get kind of upset with each other and we start bickering and fighting. But, but when I'm really using my head and when I'm really thinking, you know what I say? I say, Miss Molly, could I have a little space, please? Oh, that's such a nice thing to say. Can we all practice saying that? Can you say, can I have a little space, please? Can I have a little space, please? Like that? Yeah, just like that. Can I have a little space, please? I need a little alone time right now. And then I go and read, or, or maybe I listen to music, or maybe I build with my toys, or, or, or I go in the yard and play by myself for a while. It's okay to play by yourself, and it's good to ask for space when you need it. So, so I, I think I'm, I'm done visiting today. I, I'm gonna go take a little space. Does that sound okay? Is that okay if Bob goes and takes some space? Yeah, thanks for asking so respectfully. You know what we might do while you're gone? What's that? Well, we might play a game with a little rabbit chase in it. Oh, wait, you're going to have a rabbit chase game? Well, on second thought, that sounds really fun. I want to go on a rabbit chase. Do y'all want to be rabbits with me? Y'all want to be rabbits with Bob? Okay, good, good, good. Everybody stand up and get ready to hop like a rabbit. We're going to have a rabbit chase. I'll see you there, friends. Bye. Say bye, Bob. Bye. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad we got to practice asking for space with Bob Rabbit. Yeah, Bob lives with his sister, Miss Molly. And I know, because I've got a, a son and a daughter who are six and three, and they play pretty well together, but sometimes they need space from each other. And sometimes they're good at asking for that, and sometimes they need a little help figuring that out. So, it's a good thing to practice doing. Let's do this, let's have a rabbit chase. What do y'all say? All right, we're gonna sing an old bluegrass song called Rabbit in a Log. Um, now, when I get to the chorus, I'm gonna need your help. I'm going to say something, and I need you to holler it back to me, okay? First time, I'm going to go, I know. You say, I know. Let's try it. I know, I know, I know, I know. Good. Second time, I'll say, lie down, lie down, lie down, lie down. Good. Third time, I'll say, give me space, give me space. I need space, I need space. Got it? All right. Now, in the meantime, rabbits, y'all ready to hop? All right, stand on up. Get ready. Let's do some rabbit hopping. Here you go. Hop, 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 hop. Rabbit in a log and I ain't got my dog. How will I get him? I don't know. I'll find me a briar and twist in his hair. That's how I'll get him, I know. game to see if I can catch any of you rabbits, okay? I'm gonna turn around like this while you're hopping and hopping. When I turn back around, you gotta freeze and hide behind your hands so I don't see you moving. Can you do that? Okay, I'm gonna try to catch you. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Hop, 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 hop. Stop. <laughs> Did you freeze? Good. Let's try it again. Hop, 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 hop. Stop. Oh, if 
thought I saw someone moving out there. Ha, 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 ha. Stop! Good job! Ha, 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 ha. Keep on hopping, y'all. I almost got that rabbit right when we jumped in your back net. I'm sick of playing hide and seek and chase. Go play with that to your own dog. I'll take a nap inside this log. I'm tired of playing games, so give me space. Yeah, give me space. Give me space. I need space. I need space. I'm tired of playing games, so give me space. Go play with that dear old dog. I'll take a nap inside this log. I'm tired of playing games, so give me space. All right, let's play a different game this time. This time, everybody try clapping your hands to the beat and see if you can stop clapping right when I turn around. Are you ready? One, two, ready, go. Clap, 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 clap. Good job! I heard you clapping! Stop! <laughs> Keep on clapping, y'all! Rabbit in a log and I ain't got my dog. How will I get him? I don't know. Well, I think I'll let him be and body should live free. I used to disagree, but now I know. Yeah, I know. Bob Rabbit get my hat. Oh no, it fell off my head. Hey, nice hopping, nice clapping, nice singing along. That was fun, y'all. Rabbit in a log. That's a good old bluegrass song and I added some new words to it. Um, so thanks for singing along. Let me get my hat. Well, friends, do you know what time it is? It's time for some birthday shout outs. Y'all wanna help me celebrate some birthdays today? Well, good, we got three birthday kiddos who need a little help celebrating their birthday. I know this summer is a different kind of time to have a birthday, huh? I had my birthday back in June, and usually on birthdays, what do we like to do? Usually, we like to get together with our friends and our family, maybe have a big party in the house or in an apartment or in the yard or at the park, but this summer, we can't gather together in big groups like that. So people have, to have had to be very creative about how to celebrate their birthdays. And I've heard some great creative ideas from y'all about how you've been celebrating your birthdays. But one of the things we love doing is we love celebrating right here during my homespun shows. So, are you ready to help some birthday friends celebrate their birthdays? Good. Here we go. We've got three of them today. We've got my buddy Remy, who's turning to... Happy second birthday, Remy. I hope you have a wonderful second birthday. I hope you like to get to eat lots of berries. I know you love eating berries. And I hope you get to go maybe look at some trains because I know you love trains too. Happy second birthday, Remy. Oh man, you're getting to be such a big kid. Emmeline is turning six years old. Happy sixth birthday, Emmeline. Six is such a big kid number. I've, we've got a six-year-old in our house, and we love that age six. You can do so many awesome things when you're six. I bet you're, what are you working on? Are you working on maybe reading and writing, starting to learn that? Maybe maybe working on riding a bike? Yeah, maybe with or without training wheels. What else do you start doing when you're six? Maybe losing a tooth or two? Have you lost any teeth yet? Do you, are any wiggly? Well, either way, happy sixth birthday, Emmeline. Six is such a fun big kid number. I hope you have an awesome birthday. And I can't even believe this, but my old buddy Zayden is turning nine years old. Happy ninth. Wait, ninth. <laughs> Red Yarn forgot how to count. Happy ninth birthday, Zayden. I've known Zayden since he was a really, really small person. Zayden and his family used to come to my shows at the Warehouse Cafe or Know Thy Food. That was one of the first little venues where I performed at regularly in Portland. So maybe seven or eight years ago when I first started doing this, Zayden and his mama and his little brother would come to my shows. And then they moved away, but they still watch on Homespun. And Zayden's a musician and an artist. And I'm so happy to get to help you celebrate your ninth birthday today, Zayden. So let's sing happy birthday to these three birthday kids. Remy. Emmeline Zayden. I'm gonna click over to make sure I didn't miss anybody else's birthday. Nope, I think we're good. Okay, y'all, let's sing in a big, loud voice. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Remy and Emmeline and Zayden. Happy I hope y'all 
have such wonderful birthday. Thanks for letting me help celebrate a little bit on Homespun today. And if anybody else has a birthday coming up, make sure to let me know. Send me a Facebook message or send me an email at redyarnproductions at gmail.com and let me know when your kiddo's birthday is, how old they're turning, and if you'd like me to celebrate it on one of my Monday or Wednesday shows. Okay? Sound good? Good. Well, let's see. I think we got another critter who's waiting to come out. Would you like to see another critter? Let's do it. <gasps> Yay! It's my old buddy, Mr. Froggy. Would y'all like to see Mr. Froggy? Good. Let's call him out. Everybody say, come on out, Mr. Froggy. Come on out, Mr. Froggy. Here I come. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Mr. Froggy. Say hi, Mr. Froggy. Hello. It's so good to see you today. How's everybody doing out there? How's everybody doing out there? Be honest. Are you feeling good? Well, I hope you're feeling good, but... Is anybody feeling kind of down? Is anybody feeling a little bit down today? It's okay to have those days, you know. We've talked about that a lot. It's okay to have down days. I have down days sometimes too, Mr. Froggy. Oh, really? Well, well, what do you do when you're feeling down? What do you what do you do to 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 cheer yourself up? What do you do to cheer yourself up? Well, first, I think it's important sometimes just to let yourself feel down, to let yourself feel sad. It's important not to ignore those feelings, right? You gotta listen to your feelings and think about what's making me feel sad today? Is it something I can fix? Is it something I can change? Or is it something I just need to sit with and feel for a little while? What do you like to do when you're feeling down, Mr. Froggy? When I'm feeling down, I like to get up and I like to jump up in the air as high as I can and make a big joyful sound. Can you do that with me? Can we do that with Mr. Froggy? Can you jump up as high as you can and make a big joyful sound? Let's try on the count of three. Jump as high as you can and make a big sound, okay? One, two, three, woohoo! Do you feel better already? I do, let's try it again. One, two, three, yee All right, let's do it again. One, two, three, ribbit! One, two, three, yee-haw! One, two, three, woo! Oh, I feel so good. How do y'all feel? I feel good too. That was fun. All right, remember that little trick. If you're feeling down, sometimes you just gotta jump for joy. Oh, I got a new song called Jump for Joy. Can we sing it? Please do. Great to see you, friends. Bye! Say bye, Mr. Froggy. Bye! Woo-hoo! All right. Let's sing one of my new songs, y'all. Hey, most of y'all probably know this already if you've been watching or following me this summer, but I got a new album coming out this Friday. Two days from now, I'm releasing a new album. It's called Backyard Bop, and I'm really proud of it. It's my sixth album as Red Yarn. It's my first album that's all original songs, all songs that I've written. A lot of the songs I sing are old folk songs, old traditional songs that I've adapted, right? But this new song is all original songs. This one's called Jump for Joy. It's the first one we released. We released it as a single back in June. I've got a music video for it that you should check out. And uh, guess what? I'm releasing another new music video today, right after this show, I'm gonna go make it public on YouTube and I'm gonna put it up on Facebook. But I actually have a link to it in my post that goes along with my Facebook Live show. So you can click over to it. It's for the title track, Backyard Bop. I sang it on Monday, I'm not gonna sing it today, but I want you to check it out right after the show. Sound good? All right, for now, let's sing Jump for Joy. Y'all ready to do some jumping? All right, let's stand up. Who wants to jump with me? Let's get it going, here we go.
So much fun. Let's see if I can get it out. Say, like, come on out, thumb pick. There it is. <laughs> All right, y'all. That song revs me up. Makes me feel good. I hope it does for you too. Okay, friends, we got a couple of critter portraits to see today, and then we're gonna sing one last song to calm ourselves down. Okay, sound good? Let's do a couple of critter portraits. Here they come. Critter time, portrait time. We have two special critter portraits today. The first one I want to show you, this is actually, I hope this will be an inspiration for the rest of you. My friend Micah was listening and heard me say that I want friends to draw pictures or send in photos of their families having their own backyard bops. That's the name of my new album, is Backyard Bop. That's the name of the new song that comes out today, Backyard Bop. And on Friday, we're going to have a special album release show, and I'm going to show off a bunch of artwork and photos of friends and families thinking about their own backyard bops. So Micah drew this awesome picture. It's Miss Molly and Red Yarn, and we're having a big backyard bop. You can see it says Backyard Bop at the top. There's music notes going all around. It looks like we're dancing in the garden. <laughs> Miss Molly's picking carrots. I've got my suitcase and my hat. It says Micah, Red Yarn, Homespun, Miss Molly, Backyard Bop. So friends, draw your own pictures of your backyard parties or imagine you're partying with me and my critters and Miss Jessie. Whatever kind of picture you want to send or, take, or send in a photo of your family playing in the backyard or having a backyard bop and I'll show them off on Friday, okay? Thanks, Micah, for the inspiration. And my friend Wilder drew this awesome picture. It's Red Yarn, Miss Molly, Bob Rabbit. There's an orange worm going into a tunnel in the sky. Mama Robin is there. Um, I think there's a big tree where Mama Robin's bird nest is. And then there's also Mama Robin flying up in the sky. Wilder, this is such an imaginative and detailed picture. Thank you for sharing it with me. I love all the characters you included, all the cool little details. I didn't even quite do justice to the description, but Wilder's mama sent me the description he gave of this picture, and it was so cool. There were so many creative ideas worked into it. 
Wilder. I love all of the details you work into your um, into your drawings and all the creativity you use. So thank you for sharing that with me. Can we give a round of applause for Micah and Wilder today for sharing their beautiful critter portraits? You can always send in your artwork, but this week, if today or tomorrow or Friday morning, if you draw a picture of you having a big backyard party or doing some other kind of backyard adventure, your critters can be there, your stuffies, your pets, my critters can be there, Red Yarn and Miss Jessie can be there, we can all be partying in my backyard. So either draw a picture of your ideal backyard bop or backyard adventure, or if you and your family are hanging in your backyard or your outdoor space and you want to take a photograph of you having fun dancing out there and send that to me, I'll show it off. Because Friday is our album release show, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Me and Miss Jessie and the Critters are going to be singing a bunch of the new songs and showing off some cool stuff, including a slideshow with y'all's artwork and pictures. So keep the backyard bot pictures coming. I've gotten some great ones already, but I will hope to get more. Sound good? Good. All right, friends, before we sing our last song, I'm going to um, do a few more shout outs that I missed. I don't think I got to shout out Rylan and Owen yet. Hi, Rylan and Owen. Awesome. It's so good to see y'all. I got a note about a birthday shout out coming up, which I'll get to that. Tiffany, don't worry. I got you. I'll get, a, I'll get a shout out to your family soon. Hopefully, I didn't miss any shout outs. If I did, um, oh, I don't know if I got to say. Oh, yeah, I said all those. Cool. All right. Awesome. Let's sing one last song, friends. Let's sing a kind of chill out song. This is a sweet old folk song, a sweet old African-American folk song, and it's kind of like a, a love song for everyone in the world. And I want to dedicate this song to everyone in the world because right now, lots of people are going through big challenges. Um, there's some hard stuff happening in our world. I bet you and your family have been talking about the coronavirus and everything that's been going on with that. There's, um, there's, the, there's protest movements going on. There's people standing up for their rights. There's people who aren't being treated fairly, who are standing up for their rights. And then there's other big things happening in the world right now. The people in, in Beirut, Lebanon are, are struggling and we're sending our love to them. So I wanna dedicate this song to every sweet living soul in this whole wide world. Can you hold out your hand like this? And can you point all around, make a big point like that? Like you're pointing to everybody in the whole wide world, okay? And we're gonna sing. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. If you wanna sit and relax, snuggle with your family, help me keep the beat on your knees. Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why your ears so long? Yes, oh yes, say we'll put on her own. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. How about Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why is your coat so gray? Yes, oh yes, it was made that way. Here we go. Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why's your coat so gray? Yes, oh yes, it was made that way. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. How about Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, what do you eat? Carrots and cabbage from my head to my feet. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, what do you eat? Carrots and cabbage from my head to my feet. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. How about one more? Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why's your tail so white? Yes, oh yes, I'm getting out of sight. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, why's your tail so white? Yes, oh yes, I'm getting out of sight. Every little soul is 
soul is gonna shine, shine, shine. Every little soul is gonna shine, shine. Keep on making them shine, oh, it's gonna shine. Think about all the people you love. Shine, shine. Think about people you haven't even met yet, how they're gonna shine. Think about everybody in the whole wide world. And let's let them shine, here we go. Shine. Oh, it's gonna shine, shine, shine. Oh, it's gonna shine, shine, shine. Oh, they're gonna shine. Woohoo! Oh, thanks, y'all. Thanks for holding the world in your loving arms today. Thanks for thinking about the people you love, the people you miss, the friends and family who are far away from you, but also people you don't even know. It's important to hold places in our hearts for people we've never even met before, but who are, who are out there and who, who, who need love too. So thank you so much for singing that with me. Friends, it's been so good gathering with y'all. Usually on my Wednesday shows, I say goodbye for the week to see you next Monday, but like I mentioned, this Friday is a special day. We're, we're having our album release. A lot of friends out there have pre-ordered our album on Bandcamp, and I've mailed CDs to you already. The digital album is going to come out in, um, in full on Friday, so you can listen on Spotify, on Amazon, on iTunes, wherever you listen to your music. If you're a vinyl record lover, you're going to have to wait a little longer. I was hoping I'd have my vinyl records in time for the release, but there's been several frustrating delays, so they might be about a month late. So you can listen guilt-free on Spotify as much as you want. And then when I put up the <laughs> vinyl sales on Bandcamp, you can order one from me and I'll send it to you. Okay? Sound good? I hope you can come to the album release party on Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Mountain time, 6 p.m. Central time, or 7 p.m. Eastern time. Or if there's families listening from the other side of the world, whatever time that is for you. Me and my wife and singing partner, Miss Jessie, we're going to do duo versions of a lot of the new songs. A bunch of the critters will be here. We'll show off your slides. We'll show off your artwork and your photos. We'll do some giveaways. A portion of the donations and album sales this week are going to go to two awesome racial justice organizations in Portland, Don't Shoot PDX, and the Black Resilience Fund. So any donations will, on Friday will be going, a portion of those will be going to that. It's going to be an awesome party. I've heard from some friends that they're going to like have a party at their house too, have a cake, put on party hats, blow up balloons, put up streamers, get in the party spirit. If you get internet in your backyard or outdoor space, you can watch it out there. We're going to have to perform from in here because it's too complicated to actually perform from our backyard and do it on a live stream. So, But we're going to have a new backdrop and all sorts of cool fancy stuff. It's going to be super fun. I hope you can do it. Now, as soon as we say goodbye, I've got a job for you, okay? If you can, if your kids can have like two and a half more minutes of screen time, once we say goodbye, go back to my Facebook post with this Facebook Live show. Click on the link down a few paragraphs down because we got a brand new music video for the title track, Backyard Bop, coming out today. We got a cool debut on the debut on the Toy Insider website this morning, but I'm gonna make the video public right after I say goodbye to y'all. So either click on the link in my post or check on Facebook or YouTube in a few minutes and it will go live, okay? I hope you enjoy it. I hope to see you all on Friday for the big Backyard Bop Party and I hope you have a great rest of your week and thanks for tuning in today. Let's say, see you later, alligator. Get your chompers out and repeat after me. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. Well, I really gotta go. Well, I really gotta go. Give me one more pretty smile. Give me one more pretty smile. Cheese. How about a high five for good listening? Um, how about a pat on the back? for safe bodies, and how about a big hug for being such sweethearts. Mm, it was great to see y'all today. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on Friday afternoon or evening for the big release show. Sound good? Stay tuned. Bye, friends. <laughs>